Hello everyone and welcome back to my Realism Overhaul series in Curl Space Program 1.0.5. In this episode I hope to finally fulfill the position of satellite in orbit of Deimos and the uncrewed Deimos landing missions. Uh, we seem to be a bit short on power as usual uh, with this probe, but we're only eight days out from Mars SOI. It shouldn't be too difficult to handle. Let me turn off S uh, Smart ASS so that we don't use too much RCS fuel. Ah, but it'll take a few minutes to turn on SAS, which is not a good thing. I'm, I've got this battery locked up here, just in case. We've got another battery on this probe here. I'll leave that open for now. So, uh, I've been doing stuff in Soul System Colonization, and recently I got a mission in orbit around Callisto, around Jupiter, and doing that I discovered that the whole approach of getting close to the planet to take advantage of the Oberth effect might not be worth so much as just getting close to the target orbit itself. Now we've got an inclination issue but even the inclination issue would be easier to correct if we were further out. So maybe instead of this sort of tight approach, well obviously we're crashing into Mars in that case, maybe what we really want is something rather looser. And let's take a look at the relative benefits and drawbacks of that. Okay, there we go. And let's say we try and get into orbit right there. Okay, that's just a bare orbit. And it takes 1,962. That's not too bad. And maybe we can adjust our inclination and everything at the same time. Targeting Deimos. Oop. And here we may have a possible encounter. And I think from this orbit it'll be cheaper to actually make the maneuver to rendezvous with Deimos. But we can't really see that unless we get an actual encounter. That might be a little bit fidgety here. That'll be in 18 days, so we'll go around the orbit once before hitting it, I think. Yeah. And it'll cost us, what is it in total? 2,178 meters per second. So we've got plenty to adjust it afterwards. Got a total of 4,000 here, assuming that is right. We remember it might not be right, but then we also have the 600 or so up here, which is what I think it was. Okay, so we need to do a 25 meter per second burn to adjust to that new orbit first, and then we'll proceed. This ascension is very stable. We'll wait the two hours. Oh, wait, we have to... Uh, Maybe I shouldn't wait the two hours, because otherwise we'll keep flipping around and using RCS to reorient. So that's not a good plan. Oh, I'm not seeing any flame. Oh, right. That's annoying. Okay. We will go into... Now we've got that one battery locked, so hopefully that will help things. But we are going to go into the sphere of influence of Mars and then fine-tune things again. Okay, so on the bright side, one thing that not getting close to Mars does for us is that we're not going to have our communication blocked by Mars itself. So that's nice. Okay, uh, I do want to focus on Mars if possible. Oh well, focus on Deimos is good too, but yeah, let's book. Well, we don't have a Deimos encounter yet, so let's focus on Mars. Okay, now this guy needs some adjustments. Okay, well, our orbit appears to be flat, the sending node zero degrees, but we seem to have a fairly big gap on the actual encounter, unlike the 60 kilometer thing we had before. But it seems a little bit difficult to adjust that right now, so I'll leave it be. And we'll, we can always bring the orbit in or do something at apoapsis or periapsis 
or just do it while we're burning. We'll be using about half of our stated delta V, but that might not be our real delta V. Let's proceed to the node. I'll lock the battery again. Now, somebody in comments suggested that RCS was the thing that led to the inaccurate delta V statement. Uh, I strongly doubt that. There is a weird staging issue. When it comes to the way certain stages work out with MechJeb, MechJeb has some issues with it. I've seen it before. It's not because of RCS. Um, I've seen it when building various types of rockets. Check that the fuel is settled. It is. Alright, ignition. Obviously, Deimos is nowhere in sight. It's about 20,000 kilometers away, but that's quite a ways away given its size. Yeah, one reason why the RCS isn't to blame for the bad Delta V is that this engine has gimbling. And you'll note that the RCS thrusters do not fire while the engine is on, though we can hardly see whether the engine is on or not. But the engine is on and the thrusters are not firing. So they are not responsible for any Delta V misreading at this point. Okay, we are about halfway through the burn and it looks like it took about 1,100 or 1,200 meters per second to do 1,000 meters per second worth of actual burn. Not too sure why. Now, a part, part of the reason is maybe because of the timing of it, right? We're not right at the node and so that complicates matters. Don't forget that part of it. But, yeah, still not entirely sure about this. Yeah, and now the discrepancy is even more even though we're getting closer to the node. Well, I really just hope that we don't have to do too much of a burn to actually meet up with Deimos. Okay, we have capture. Our relative inclination is now 3 degrees. Okay, shut down because it's gonna start turning me. Instead of having 2,000... whoops, auto-saving. Uh, instead of having 2,000 left, we only have 1,388. This does not look like it's a great place to adjust my inclination any longer because we're 90 degrees away from either node. Let's say we do a correction at apoapsis. Also lift our orbit up, which will be beneficial because it'll be closer to matching Deimos's orbit. Okay, we have a Deimos encounter there. Can we get a periapsis? First thing we want, well, we, we do want it to be a higher pass, so let's focus on that perhaps. Well, that's roughly the idea. And can I make a node here? No, it's doing the same thing it did last time. Okay. Well, we have our planned plot. Anyway. So let's go out to Apoapsis. Once again, we will have to lock batteries and everything, just to make sure. Well, I mean, really we have to, because the burn is in two days. And, uh, yeah, that won't work out for us very well. No, it's not in two days. No, it is in two days. Wow, okay. Actually, we if we face the sun properly, we might have had enough battery power for that. Actually, just turning around is changing our relative inclination right now. That's not fair. Ah. Uh, okay, how about I just do it? Because otherwise we'll never get to the node with Smarty SS constantly turning it. Okay. Uh, no. All right. We will leave that be. It looks like a 10 kilometer closest approach distance. Which, if we take a look at it, oh, went to 50 kilometers. No, that's not what I want. Okay, it looks like that. And might need some coaxing to actually stay there. Time warping. 
I don't think I even unlocked the battery, did I? No, I didn't. I was using some other form of connection. Probably the Able Core had power in it somehow. Okay, well, anyway. We will have to carefully approach Demos because we need to start doing things a little bit earlier in the actual encounter. Right now, I'm going. 2,100 meters per second, Deimos is going 1,350. So probably I'll have to burn off at least 800. As long as we have a few minutes like we did previously, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Okay, we're uh, two minutes away. Now I have to get into orbit, so we're not like uh, planning to do science before getting into orbit, so I'm not queuing that up at all. And we have to get into orbit on this stage. If we don't get into orbit on this stage, and I, and I can't send the stage command in time. Right? So yeah, that's an interesting wrinkle. Uh, target negative relative velocity, please. Is that doing the right sort of thing to our orbit? Yeah. Definitely doing the right sort of thing to our orbit. Though we don't want to do it too early. We have a periapsis now of 11 kilometers. I don't want that to go away. We've already used 700 meters per second of our delta V according to Mechjeb, so yeah. Something's not quite right there. Let me stop it right there with 500 Mechjeb meters per second present, and it looks like 4 minute stint in demo space. Let's see how much delta V it'll take and whether we can maybe nudge our way closer to that target orbit. Now nah, RCS does not seem to be working for that. Let's get into orbit first. It won't be too bad if we have to adjust once we're in orbit. That's a lot more than I was expecting. 400 but I don't know if we have 400 real meters per second in this stage yeah we whew. I don't have time to stage well, well we'll see let's get into the sphere of influence and see what happens well 444 would be enough if that wasn't lying. Engage. Alright, we now don't have enough according to this. But we'll see. We will see what we can do. We end up 123 meters per second short. I don't think that was just the RCS. Okay, well, anyway, I'm going to initiate staging. But we will be outside of the most SOI by then. So close, yet so far. Actually, that's a bigger gap than I thought it would be. Okay, we actually want the other part. Yes, this guy. Okay, we have another encounter. I am happy to report. This one seems to require us to go underneath rather than over the top. 
and it will require 37, 30, probably close to 40 meters per second. Bright side, this time MacJeb cannot fool with me about it because it's not reading anything. So that's just the encounter, and then when we get there, getting into orbit. Well, it really shouldn't require too much. Yeah. Ninety meters per second. Well, that's more than I thought it would be. But if we do it right there properly, we can get that orbital contract done. And then landing shouldn't be too hard. The hard part will be how finicky the orbital contract is, I think. Anyway, that's the basic idea. Let's do this initial burn. I'll just turn it myself. Oh, we have to unlock the fuel. I mean, Deimos is right there, darn it. It's just right there. If I really wanted to use a whole lot of Delta V, I could like burn right towards it or something crazy like that. Well, not that crazy. But we'll do it this way, the patient way. It's not too far from burning directly towards it, by the way. I'm not too sure why our relative inclination is going up. I hope this node isn't fooling with me here. Well, no. That seems to be working, actually. So we'll, we will have a higher relative inclination than I thought. Go figure. Okay, that's pretty much as advertised. Bit close. We'll fix that on the way in. All right. So, hydrazine has been used. We don't need to use any more. Um, this probe core, might as well lock it again. And around we go. Okay, we are in Deimos SOI. Looks like 5.25 kilometer altitude they want the orbit in. Well, that'll have to do for starters, but just Smarty SS turning the thing around every now and again has its effects. It'll probably take us a minute to get done with this burn. There it is. Can we land on it? That's another question. Oh, it is taking longer than I thought it would. Okay, we're in orbit. Okay, we're gonna have to do some fine tuning. But at least we are in orbit. Yes, we are. Not the orbit I was looking for. But one thing at a time, I guess. Let's go, oh. It doesn't really show my apoapsis. Still doesn't show my apoapsis. That's not nice. Okay, at this descending node here, how precise we have to be, that I don't know. And it's bound to be pretty annoying. Okay, let's go over there. Oh no, time warp restrictions. I forgot about time warp restrictions around demos. This is bound to be really tedious. Okay, just one minute left. I'm going to give a cautious stop spinning burn. And then turn to maneuver node burn. Technically, don't need to turn. We could just use RCS and make sure it ends up being right. Our orbit is 3 meters per second. Which gives you an idea how touchy this is going to be. I'm going to turn on caps lock. I don't know if it I don't know if it did any good before, but maybe you'll do some good now. Try to use all the keys I J K L H N N to get this done. Yeah, okay, I think that's 
That's great. Okay. Um, have we done it? Can generate power. Build a new unmanned probe that has an antenna and can generate power. It doesn't count this as a probe that can generate power? Okay, has antenna. Come on. Ah. I guess it wanted solar panels or it doesn't trust these RTGs? Well, shoot. We're in the correct orbit. We have a barometer, orbital perturbation sensor, and we've maintained stability for 10 seconds. But it doesn't count this as a new unmanned probe that has an antenna and can generate power. Does the landing one require that? Unmanned. It doesn't really care about power, the landing. Well, that sucks. Mm. On the bright side, uh, this position a specific satellite into this orbit, we've got another chance. As annoying as that'll be. That's just a rip-off, though. Have we... Let, let me do the science. I'm gonna queue up some science and see if it's anything we haven't done already. Some, I, at least one of them was biodependent. So, now I don't know about the whole "is the science getting recorded" issue, but frankly, I don't particularly need bigger rocket power or anything like that right now. So I'm not too worried. I guess maybe if its uh, power consumption was less than the power it generates, it'd be okay. I guess that's what it wanted. Okay, we'll transmit that one. Let's see. It doesn't show us how much science we actually have, so I can't tell if we'll actually get it. Well, it says done. What well, doesn't say is how much science I actually got. Normally it reports, hey, you got like 18 science or whatever. It didn't say that. So it didn't record the science. And it recorded the science. It didn't give me the points. It'll say zero points back at the re uh, research center. Well, whatever. I think uh, we should try and land. Hmm. But I swear the RTGs were enough to cover the electric charge on this thing. I thought I even calculated it by hand. And when you think about it, three RTGs ought to be enough for a probe like this. I mean, even Voyager had only three. Strange. Anyway, I'm going to F5. Because I'm about to land, and the last time I tried that, glitchy terrain and everything. I want to make sure that it's not obscured when we try and land. So we want to, well, looks like, well, if we land a little bit short of there, that'd be good. Alright. Cannot warp faster than 10x under 5 kilometers. So, yeah. It's about 100 minutes to periapsis. So it's going to take me 10 minutes. Well, okay, I'll be back to you once we get closer to the ground. Okay, I feel like I've done this before, but I just want to go straight down now. Because we're not getting very far time warping. Okay, surface horizontal speed is close enough to zero. Um, Smart ASS is not doing a good job of pointing me at the very pinnacle here. I said pitch 90, but it seems to be more around 85-ish. 
I don't really care what the heading is or the roll. One interesting thing, because I'm going so fast towards the ground, my apoapsis is also negative. Because I'm on escape. If I ever pass periapsis, I will actually be escaping Deimos. Okay, our true altitude is less than a kilometer now, finally. This probe has oodles of plutonium. Unfortunately, it's not enough to actually run it properly. The suicide burn countdown is very much not right. That may mean that the uh, terrain is glitchy, or perhaps too glitchy for me to survive here. We're at 300 meters. The train definitely does not look like it's only 300 meters away. Which is a problem. Now, as I've mentioned, there is a potential fix for the glitchiness of the terrain. But I don't know if it'll work or not. Okay, descending at 2 meters per second, indicated altitude 60 meters. Actually, it looks like the train is about right, maybe. Shadow. And very gentle touchdown. RCS off. Oh, wait. RCS can't go off like that. I'll have to just turn Smart ASS off. And it looks like it's auto saving. Okay, uh, experiment telemetry analysis. Okay, hold on. I want to plant myself down here. Oh boy. Are we still landed? Well, it says we're landed. I got time warp until the experiment gets done. Okay, uh, transmit science. If it doesn't count the science for points, we'll count it on this. We're, we were almost not landed again. It says done here, but it didn't count it for here. Okay, hold on a sec. Let me. Oh, this is going all bad. But um, fortunately, it's all RCS, so we can adjust it. And it still says landed. I think I need to restart the game and maybe fill around with remote tech. It is a remote tech problem that the science doesn't get counted. Alright, let me try that out. Okay, well, I'm back again, having replaced the. Uh, remote tech plugin and I had originally placed in a version of it that was supposed to fix the problem but obviously it didn't so I reverted back to the original and let's see if I can analyze telemetry am I landed? Did this count as landed? not the best position to transmit data mind you pointing the dish right at the surface like that nice view of Mars but, alright, let us time warp until we can transmit that data. Well, it says done here, but it didn't get done over there. Let me, let me do some other things. Record impact data, perturbation data. We can try this probe cores, analyze telemetry. But it looks like neither version of the plugin 
will actually give me a satisfactory result. And I'm probably not getting any signs from any of this either. Now I've been assured that the dish is actually RO compatible, but you know, right now I have to wonder about everything. It does say non-RO. Maybe there's something about it that was weird that I just didn't know about. Well, this one said science added. 42 science added for that one. Hmm. Wonder what the difference is. That was an atmospheric scan. I wonder if redoing the same thing will allow for science to happen. That one just said done. Let me try that one again. And try the probe cores again. Highly unlikely that this will come up with different results. Oh! Wait. Telemetry analysis? Oh, we got the telemetry analysis. Now, if I click transmit. Now it says I don't have the telemetry analysis. So it recognizes that telemetry analysis was done. It just doesn't see that it was transmitted. Well, that's definitely a remote tech thing. So there's a telemetry analysis and you see a check mark by that one from Deimos's craters. And if I transmit no luck there. All right, let me transmit this one. And then it goes away. And no luck. No luck. Well, let's uh, temporarily go back to the Space Center. Well, let's quickly assess the potential damage here. We could uh, lose 242,000 from that one and then 540,000 from that one. Uh, on the whole, we can weather it. The, we did get a little bit of science from that one that actually completed. But uh, yeah, clearly we have a more fundamental problem here than just whether we complete the contracts or not. And usually at this point somebody suggests just force completing it, but that's really not our issue right now. It's not really a matter of funds, it's a matter of the game being somewhat broken, specifically remote tech being rather broken. And um, not entirely sure what to do with that. It's it's a known problem in 1.0.5 that remote tech has trouble transmitting the science. I looked at the forum thread and everything. I know there were, I think there was a suggestion in the comments on the previous video, and I'm sure there will be other suggestions, but I, I will consider my options here. We do still have the probe landed on Deimos. And frankly, uh, in spite of the game being a little bit annoying, uh, I'll, I'll concede that I did not have enough power on the satellite to complete the specific orbit contract, though it didn't really say that it should be able to generate a surplus of power. I mean, it didn't really... I mean, it definitely uh, generates some power with its RTGs. I think it's actually just the fact that it's using RTGs, not the fact that it doesn't have enough power. I don't remember the contracts checking for exactly how much just as long as they generate power but I must insist that we definitely did succeed on the Deimos landing uh, so on the whole I think it was it was a good good sequence of missions I think we succeeded as far as I expected to succeed and it's just a matter of the game recognizing the result that is the problem Anyway, I'll, I'll look into it. There is also the matter that 1.1 has is in pre-release and will be released soon, and that might change my plans. In other words, I might want to start fresh in 1.1 with Realism Overhaul. As far as possible benefits of that, um, everything's been updated. Test flight in particular. Test flight in particular just didn't work around here. I think it'll work uh, in 1.1 based on what I've heard. So yeah. Anyway, on that note, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.